Once again, let's start with that breaking news in Kenosha tonight. 12 News has learned a judge dismissed the case against a, against a couple wrongly arrested inside a Kenosha Applebee's. The video from the July takedown went viral, prompting outrage and claims of racial profiling. Investigative reporter Derek Rose is leading us off tonight at 10. Derek? Yeah, Patrick, we learned tonight it was prosecutors who requested the judge dismiss the charges. Now, remember, it was the same prosecuting office who initially filed the charges despite police admitting they arrested the wrong people. It took four months for Kenosha police to release that body camera video showing the controversial July arrest. Jermel English Jr. and Shania Boyd were eating at the Applebee's with their young son when police stormed into the restaurant, searching for the people who ran from a nearby hit and run crash earlier that evening. Restaurant staff pointed officers toward English and Boyd, and when police asked them what kind of car they drove, the couple would not answer. That led to a struggle. Onlookers started recording on their cell phones and shared the video on social media in the following days. Prosecutors then charged the couple with resisting arrest and disorderly conduct, despite them not being the people officers were searching for. A judge today dismissed those charges. Now, following an internal investigation, Kenosha police suspended two officers for violating department protocol. As for the initial hit and run crash, police say they found the people they were looking for hiding in the Applebee's bathroom. Patrick Derek, any reaction from the couple tonight? Some somewhat in a statement posted to social media team rock, which is owned by hip hop mogul Jay Z and who provided a lawyer for the couple wrote Jamel English Jr. and his family should have never been subjected to this trauma adding Kenosha PD needs to do better. No immediate response tonight from Kenosha, Kenosha police on the dismissed charges. Derek Rose leading us off tonight at 10 and we've been covering this case since July. Those stories are posted right now in the 12 News app.